Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about your commitment. Are you ready? Let's get started. Eight weeks ago, we started a series of videos, this being the last one, all about a blog post that I wrote entitled, Eight Ways to Be a Better Employee. And listen, we're gonna close, you can get a link to that, read it all here, you can go back and listen to all the other videos, but I'm gonna close strong. Here's the last one of the points that I made in that blog post. It said, let's have more commitment and less compliance. As an employee, we want you to be more committed and less compliant. As an employee, you want to be more committed and less compliant. So the question here is, how committed are you? Well, all of us are committed to something, but the question I'm asking here is really about how committed are you to the work that you're doing? Are you doing things for reasons because you find meaning in your work, that you understand your work, that you find value in your work? How committed are you? And secondly, related to that is, why are you doing things at work? Are you doing them because you're supposed to? Are you doing them because you have to? Or are you doing them because at the end of the day, you really want to? See, it's in that third one, in the I want to, that shows you're committed. You're doing things for the right reasons, right? And so the third related question is, uh, why are you doing things? See, all of these questions are getting at this most important question. How committed are you to your work? Why are you doing what are you doing and why you're doing them? And if you think about these questions and you find that you are highly committed, then you're heading in the right direction. Certainly, as a leader, it's important for us to be thinking about our level of commitment because our level of commitment is turning into what others see, right? So that leads to two questions now where I'm asking you to sort of put your leadership hat on, which is how much commitment do you expect from your team? So I certainly worked with and observed leaders that were asking of their team, either explicitly or not, far more than they were really giving. That didn't work very well. And I've certainly worked with leaders that have a very high expectation of others that matches their own, that has a much better chance of success. So what is the level of commitment that you expect from your team? And get this, do they know what that is? See, a lot of times there are a lot of leaders that think, well, they should get it, they should understand it. They Certainly they know what I mean or what I'm thinking. Listen, none of their job descriptions say that you can. they should be able to read your mind. If you have an expectation of a level of commitment, do they know that? Is that clear to them? And then lastly, and back to you, the last question is, what do they see in you? What do they see in you? Even if you are committed, if they don't see it, it's their perception here that really matters most. So make sure that you have the level of commitment that you want and need for yourself. And then make sure that you're sharing that through your actions and make sure your expectations of them are clear as well. If we do all of those things, we have a much better chance of having commitment rather than compliance, both in ourselves and in others. And as a leader, this is a huge opportunity for us. We really do all want to be committed to the work that we do. We spend so much time at it. Our job as a leader is to help to find ways to find, get people to that place of commitment so that they can be as successful as they want to be at work. Let me close with today's tweet. All leaders want committed team members. Step one is to make sure they are committed themselves and their teams see that commitment. You know, a couple of years ago, we created a set of videos titled 13 Days to Remarkable Leadership. Now, there's no promise that in exactly 13 days, you're going to be a remarkable leader, but I can promise you that these 13 days where we, every day we send you a video with a story and a principle and a tool for you to download to help you apply that principle for 13 straight days. Maybe not a promise of you becoming a remarkable leader, but an awfully good first step. I hope you'll sign up for that set of emails right now.